Hey guys, we're here in Bonner Springs, Kansas for the opening weekend of the Kansas City Renaissance Festival. The KC Renfest is celebrating its 45th year in operation and they've graciously invited us to go and explore the grounds and take you along with us. We have a whole day of fun planned, so let's get to the ticket booth and get on in. Tickets to the KCRF are $24.95 for adults and $15.95 for children, but there's also special pricing for seniors and military discounts. However, if you have a group of two or more and you want to do a little good, this is one of our favorite discounts. The RenFest has partnered with Harvesters to provide buy one get one ticket coupons and all you got to do is donate five cans of non-perishable food items. How cool is that? We're in line and ready to head in. Thank you. Sir Philip Gray, skilled master of grave diggers exercise. I trust you're both feeling well? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Have you done your plague self-check today? I have not. How do I do that? Put your left hand on top of your head, right? Take your right hand and you make it into a claw like this. Right? And you grab. And if you're not shrieking in pain, you probably don't have the pain. Right? All right, plague free! Okay, I was too busy filming. What am I supposed to do? No. You're good. Yes. Plague free. So right here near the main entrance is the Maypole. We have several new groups that are here to entertain you guys. Right now is the Mystic Sands. Later on, they have another belly dance troupe. There's a fire breathing group and personal friends of mine, the Flint Hills Fairies. We're gonna go see them later on. I'm super excited to go see their show. This is gonna be the first time we get to see them. All right, now we gotta find some coffee because we had to rush here. I don't know about you, but I need some caffeine in my system. I just feel like it's perfect coffee weather. It's a little bit chilly and a warm cup of coffee would be perfect. It's the Bad Hatter. Yes, it is. Thank you for noticing. Hello, guys. What, what gave it away? Are you was podcasting? It? We are. Oh, Excellent. my goodness. You're casting the broad? Yes. Oh, even better. I like to cast abroad this broad. Has to write out. <laughs> Shut up, brother. Oh, Never. we have improper tea. The Bad Hatters improper tea. Party. Tell them about how improper it is. It's very improper. It's nothing like the Queen's tea. No. It's a proper tea. Party. At our tea party, we play games. Mostly with balls. Yes, we have a lot of balls at our tea party. You'd think it would be a ball, but uh, in fact, it's not a ball. It's a tea party. It is a tea party. That's right. <laughs> improper tea. Yes, indeed. Improper times for improper tea. That's right. We will be at the Dragon's Bad Breath stage. Well, they call it the Dragon's Breath stage. But we call it the Dragon's Bad Breath stage. That's right. And it's uh, 10 something or other. And 11 and 45. And 2 and 30. Improper times for improper tea. We compete with the Queen's Tea Party at 2 yes. and 30. And yes. we make fun of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so be sure to come and see us. You never know who you're gonna run into. Now let's find some coffee. My favorite kind of puppy. Hush puppies. Too bad our dog's not like that. He is not a hush puppy at all. He's a husky puppy. <laughs> Coffee? 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 Coffee anywhere? Found plenty of mead. That's for later on. So, we can't find coffee, but that's okay because there's a handy dandy little information booth right over here by the main gate. If you don't know, you better ask, ask somebody. somebody. <laughs> Oh, there's somewhere we could find some coffee. Um, here where the crepes are. Yeah. I understand they're doing coffee down here. Okay. Try over there. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Good morning. 
Good morning. Good morning. Are we on camera? Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Claire's crepes, best food at the fair. You heard a rumor that you have coffee, or you know might know where coffee is. Sadly, the cup and chaucer is not oh, back no. this year. Oh, really? So I, I don't know where you can get coffee. Okay. I'm so sorry. Well, in that case, can we get an Alan's Desire? You may. Yes, that we do have. Alan's Desire, yeah. Take a look at that. Lots of fungus. I'm so sorry. Alan's got a fungus infection. <laughs> So this is the Allen's Desire. It has cheese, bacon, jalapenos, mushrooms, garlic, and salsa. I'm so excited. telling you, it's dangerous. Do you want to go up to the table? No. I love it. With a And it's the perfect to-go item because we're heading to our first show. We're going to go watch Robin Hood and his Correction. Her. Merry men. We gotta go, the show just started. So every weekend here at the Kansas City Renaissance Festival has a different theme. Highland fling. Wine, chocolate, and Roman music. Shamrocks and shenanigans. Heroes and villains. Barbarian Brewfest. Haunted Huzzah. But this weekend is swashbucklers and sirens. So let's go do some pirate shopping. Yar. We're stopped here at North Tortuga Trading Company to get some pirate shopping in. Yeah, absolutely. Over there. I've been looking for a pirate outfit. I don't know. I don't know what kind of pirate I want. You want to dress up? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do something cool with you, so you're just gonna have to work with me, all right? Okay. What? These are yoga pants. And it looks like a skirt, but they're pants, and it's phenomenal. So we're gonna hold your backpack for you. Okay. Is there anything good in here to sell? So, when, you, when I get through tying this, don't make it. So when you want those to shake, you don't do this. You've got to pop. Roll that hip and pop, right? And you got to be light on your light on your heel. Pop. I can't do it. you got to do it fast. There, there you go. go. It'll come to you. It'll come to you. <laughs> I feel like a pirate. Uh, Billy Blades is my name. We have a, I'd call it a cosplay pirate shop. Because kind of my thing is, yeah, you can spend thousands of dollars and do one thing, be a pirate. And there's a lot of, I do the same stuff myself, but I think it's important shops like ours that lets you spread out the economics of your money and, and do a lot of fun cosplaying. We've got a great crew, great staff, you know, everybody's here to help. Uh, we find a lot of people come in and they don't know what they're looking for, they don't know what they want. Well, that's where we come in. We definitely enjoy the Renaissance Festival. We've been at this location, Booth 302, for uh, this is our second year now. And it's great. It's a great time out here, seeing families have fun, come in, dress them up. Moms and daughters, uh, that's always fun when you get moms and daughters that 
want to just dress up and have fun together and we get to be a part of that. You know, that's always rewarding for us. So. Our business is making sexy pirates and business is good. Who is this? I'm a pirate. Now that Des is officially looking the part, it's time to go visit Captain Von Doom to see if we can get her to be an official pirate. Yar. Do you have a question to ask me? Oh, you want to be a pirate? Really? You want to be a pirate? Sit down. <laughs> we are here today to discuss the application to be a pirate from Desiree. First question, why do you want to be a pirate? It's been a lifelong dream of mine. I love the ocean. This sounds desperately like an obsession. Since you have such a deep-seated need, a, a terrible need, I think we will call you Desiree the Terrible. All right. To become a pirate, you must join my crew. That means you will be a member of Captain Doom's crew. Do you understand that? Come over here. That's how it works. I will be your captain. The captain shares his treasure with his crew. By accepting this piece of treasure, you become a member of my crew. Do you accept that? Yes. Do you accept that also with all the responsibilities and the perks that go with it? Yes. Do you know what the perks are? No. Do you know what the responsibilities are? No. And you're willing to accept them anyway? Yes. You're a pirate. Take that. <laughs> Repeat after me. Arr, I be a pirate. Arr, I be a pirate. Desiree the Terrible, you are a pirate. I am now Desiree the Terrible. I have been given a piece of Captain Doom's treasure, and that means that I am part of his crew. Which means Thank that there are responsibilities, terrible. and I'm not sure what they are. But I'm on board, literally. And now that she's sufficiently accoutred... Accoutred? Accoutrements! I mean, I got that, but that just sounds weird. <laughs> Shh. We're gonna go watch the history of violence. So that was the history of violence. That was a really cool show. They have amazing chemistry together, and I'm really excited that we got to go see it. Plus, they're really funny, too. Oh my god, it was fantastic. Make sure you go see it when you come down. But right now, we're gonna go see Dez's favorite act since she was about that high. Pop the juggler! Oh yeah. Okay, so I've been coming to the Kansas City Renaissance Festival since I was really small. My dad always used to bring me here, and my favorite show every single year was Bob the Juggler. He is so funny, he's so much fun, and I've actually gotten to volunteer on stage with him like multiple times. It's awesome. The more you can do, the happier the audience might be. And the happier the audience might be.
Hector. Nasty job, you are looking amazing, Harvey. We gotta go get some Celtic jewelry from the naughty lady. But first, we're going to the naughty shop. Oh, a fish shop. So I'm gonna fix my outfit. I have denim colored ones for casual Fridays. We've had such a great adventure so far, but it's not over yet. It's called a dust. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh, hi! Hello! Barry? Yes, usually. Yes, we do live here. Oh, could you show me? I would, I would love to. That's my favorite thing. That's my favorite thing. Oh, come, come this way. Come okay. This is the, the entrance. Obviously. You've entered here. <laughs> this is our beautiful stage. Wow. Our elder world. Our drumming men, they're about to perform. We have many uh, kinds of fairies, different kinds of creatures here, but predominantly visiting the realm right now are bugs. Up here, this is my favorite place to be. This is a fairy circle. We have a pond and many mushrooms, and over here, Queen Titania. Good day, your majesty. Oh, hello, my dears. Well met, well met. And in here, have you been? This is the mermaid cup. My friends Lorelai and Venus are the mermaids inside there today. It looks like it is quite popular today, as quite always. Popular. Well, when it's a hot day, you might hope to get splashed. Oh, I would love to get splashed. <laughs> What time is that at? 11 and 30 and you're eating it. And if you look across the walls, you can see the children's mural competition. It is some of my favorite ones I've ever seen. And then down this way, another thing you can vote on. Over here we have a fairy house competition. So we have the more delicate ones lining these graduated lines and then across and all the way up are the beautiful fairy houses. I make a new one to sleep in each night. My favorite one is way up there. It's three stories tall and my little leggies are getting so much exercise going up and down those stairs. Sure. <laughs> Can you show us? Let's go! Here, I'll pretend like I'm walking the stairs on the way there. <laughs> okay, that's the best of the day. <laughs> right there, it's got lights in it it's as well. Lights on the side. Oh my god. Yes, I like, I like this one over here with a little wizard's power. Oh no, are you alright? Ooh, a wizard's power. It's a mushroom top. all of our splendid things we have in the forest. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I get this oh, you. And now you get to stay here forever with us. Yay! <laughs> that was amazing. I think I've learned a little bit more about the Enchanted Forest. Definitely. It's so magical here. Okay, now we're gonna take a sit and listen to some of our personal friends, Elderwood, who are doing a concert right now. Let's go.
That's fun for some drugs. <laughs> well, anyway, greetings, hello. It's lovely to see you. Just wonderful to see you. Aren't you having a lovely time in the forest? Oh, it's a beautiful day for the forest. It is. The cloud cover has made everything wonderful. There's a breeze. And we're about to tell stories. They're about to tell stories. It's not fair. I want to do everything. There is so much to do here that you really try to see it all, but you really can't. It's kind of a Disneyland situation. You definitely need more than one day. Okay, we're heading into Coswald Commons. It's the main food court area of the Renaissance Festival. We're gonna get ourselves some food. I want a turkey lay, but let's also get something really interesting. Okay, but I want fried pickles. Fried pickles. <laughs> Okay, it's time for a little Casey and Beyond secret for the Renaissance Festival. The main turkey leg counter at Cotswold Commons is usually extremely busy. It's over there and there's always a huge line. Uh, it usually stretches about long. A long. Very long. It stretches long. It'll take you about 20, 30 minutes to get a turkey leg. However, there's another spot where you can get a turkey leg that not many people know about. Let's go check it out. Oh. Hi, we're gonna get you. <laughs> turkey leg, please. One turkey leg. Here you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You ready for this? I am. It looks so smoky. It is so good. Their turkey legs here are amazing. Honestly, I should be taking smaller bites so it doesn't take me three years to, you know, take a bite, eat it, and then talk to the camera. But if you have a turkey leg, you gotta eat it like a heathen. Yarg. I have 18 frogs upon my person this day. Indeed, I'm a walking lily pad. <laughs> All right, we've eaten, we've had some queen sightings, and now we are rushing to go catch the joust. I politely the running, horse. politely running, politely running, politely running. Pants are falling, pants are falling. <laughs> oh my god! My oh my god! <sighs> we made it to the joust. After a quick stop for me, it's now time for us to catch some more of the action at the human chess match. Rowan 
So now we're back at the Maypole to watch our friends in a brand new act to the Kansas City Renaissance Festival, the Flint Hills Fairies. Once there was a time the fairy magic bloomed all night and day. The pixies, gnomes, and leprechauns ruled and guarded the land of the fae. Oh, hail, hail the old fairy days when friendship was between the fae. Hail, hail the old fairy days, the days of the great fairy way. See anything moving in there? No. Is there supposed to be a red light? Rowan is Rowan, Brownie of the Spring Court, and this is his sister. What a great we are Aspen, Brownie of the Spring Court. It is well to meet you. Meet them? Them? All of them. Is there lots of them? There's got to be many pixies in there if it's that busy. Yes. <laughs> well, it looks like it says uh, 28 million pixies in there. 28 See, million? 28 huh? M. That's that word you keep yelling at yes, us. Yes, million. We're only six and a half of those. Million, yes. And we are not elusive fairies, we're just busy. I mean, who do you think does all the work around here? <laughs> Be honest about it. We had pets to feed and a chess match to make sure no one killed each other or that we got cleaned up. And we had stories to tell, and you had to make sure everyone else was doing what they were supposed to, and all the leaves were aligned. And he had to make sure the yeomen were, of course, watered and fed and yes. all of that. And he has to make sure that the fairies are, are in the forest and safe and doing their thing. Yes. And then we had the circle to put together and take down. And, it, 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 and who do you think sweeps all of the dirt into the right pattern at the end of the day? That takes a lot of work. Never done, but that's our purpose, too. People ask, when, where do we sleep? <laughs> where? When is the question. Where? When? When? Yeah. When? A good job well done is worth its own reward in sleep. Yes, very much, very much. Okay, so the day's coming to an end, but it's not over yet. Right now, the citizens of Canterbury are gathering together for the final huzzah. It's a big sing and dance along, and it's so much fun. Let's go. Goodbye. Oh, there he goes. 